guys, welcome to another amazing, fun, thrilling, entertaining episode of Trending. I'm your host as always. My name is Nancy Isime and today I feel really beautiful. I like my hair, I like how really trendy it looks. All thanks to my stylist, Kelvin. Well, on this show, we bring you everything and everyone that is trending. And you know how we do. Trending is brought to you by Airtel. But before I go into the business of the day, allow me to take a short break. But I'll be right back to reveal who my guest is. Stay with me, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, it is still trending but to you by Airtel. On today's show I have with me a rapper, a singer and songwriter. Please let's welcome Okechuku Edwards OKJ. Oh, I finished it. I got this name right this time. I feel good about it. Okechuku Edwards OKJ, aka Mr. Raw. Formerly that nigga raw one name. Abia. Eh? Yes. I'm in the building. I'm about to go my shade, man. Oh my God, your energy is so very contagious. Like my I just blood be hot. It be hot. My blood be hot. We are inside the gym now. <laughs> It's good to have you on the show. Thank you very I much. I love how you look. I love the simplicity, but here at Suffocation, how the Suffocation look, how you know, the Suffocation you bring to it. It's like, what? It's like the Thank glasses. Thank you very much. With the yes. white shirt. Do you want to talk about it in our style update segment? Ah, uh, yeah. If you want me to talk about it, I'll talk yes, about it. Yes, please do. Please. I'm wearing a linen top. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of the designer. <laughs> Same with my pants and okay. the footwear. I'm not really a freak when it comes to names okay but well, what inspired that, this anything look? that looks good on me it's I, fine i just go for it yeah but what inspired this look though um i just felt like being casual you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. um i'm now presently i'm more of a corporate person like why is that way shit. i don't know but i think it comes with the age or something i just oh, feel yeah. like um enough the of the gym did. thing okay. like yeah just something different okay so okay. i just felt like okay let me just put this on the casual and, and no. semi-corporate and semi-casual and it's really something i don't tie a pack on this show oh um, more you can tie a pack you can tie a pack there's enough I space for the rapper you don't understand <laughs> so i just felt like let me just be casual and you look really sophisticated yeah. that's the look i love it i love it now Thank let's you talk much. about your album right and wrong um which was the first yeah, I think, that was my first album. Yeah, your debut album. Yeah. And it was released on the 7th of August, 2005. Wow. And it experienced commercial success. Um, it's been 10 years now, because yeah. we're in 2015. How well has your music journey been? What's been going on? There's been on and off periods. Yes. But I would say it's been well. Okay. I've learned a lot. I've achieved a lot. Okay. And I'm still here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even before the album dropped, I was existing somewhere, yeah. doing stuff and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pushing my hustle. Mm -hmm. and the experience is amazing. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I can actually call myself a professor. You can? Yeah. <laughs> professor? Self-acclaimed. Yeah, for real. Because wow. the knowledge is something that I cannot like forget mm -hmm. in a hurry. Amazing. And I've met amazing people, mm -hmm. annoying ones. I've done annoying things too and amazing <laughs> things too to people. So they can still say same about me. About, okay. So I think musically I've done well for myself. Mm -hmm. So professor? All I have, I did not have it then. So then. like, yeah, all I have now. Amazing. Now you're often regarded as the pioneer of evil rap in Nigeria. Yeah. What is your take on the way the Nigerian rappers are approaching rap? You know, do you think the infusion of, um, you know, local di dialects, it used to be just, you know, English or yeah, Pidgin. Now a lot of people, English. or Pidgin, a lot of people are becoming really bold and taking steps towards that, you know, kind of hip hop. I don't yeah. know what word to use for it, or what genre. Uh, I would, uh, well, like everybody calls it, they say it's in indigenous rap. Okay. But I think hip hop is hip hop, regardless the language you want to express yourself in, yes. whether you want to speak. Mm -hmm. French or <laughs> Spanish or but if it's hip hop, hip -hop it's, it's hip hop. Hip -hop. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I think they are doing incredibly well because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now I sit back, listen to Yoruba artists. Mm -hmm. I might not understand what he's saying, but, you're but I'm feeling, the feeling vibes. exactly. Then the next step I will take would be to ask a Yoruba friend what did he say? He say yes. And indirectly I'm actually learning learning Yoruba Very through true. an artist. Yeah. True. I remember back then when I started doing my stuff in Igbo, mm -hmm, there was mm -hmm. nobody to like, you know, mm -hmm. learn from, try to like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it was just me. I make the mistakes, mm -hmm. I look for a way to correct them and yeah. all that. 
I remember coming to Lagos and I heard a lot of Ajasa's song. And yeah. Lovely song. And I was I wasn't understanding the language. Right, but you were feeling the exactly. groove. Exactly. And there's this line in the song, uh, I advise on MC to please switch to Juju. You know, Woo! I come on my head. I was like, this guy is good. So that is just basically, I think, what... The, the indigenous rap is doing yes, to yeah. people right now. Mm -hmm. well. Amazing. Shout out to all of them out all there. All of them. Doing really good. Now, Mr. Ro, what is that thing you know needs to be changed in the music industry for growth and development? Um, I would say number one is the way we see music. Okay. The people don't see music as business. Mm -hmm. That um, it, it has gotten to a point that even when you have a song, mm -hmm. And this is what you do for a living. They prefer to download it for free. They uh -huh. don't want to pay for it. And it didn't just start. It's been happening A even when time. it was manually done. Forget True. the digital era. <laughs> um, I remember those days. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a promoter will go pay for a hall. Pay for po posters Process. to be printed. Yeah. Pay the DJ. Yeah. Do everything that needs to be done. done. Then the artist that people will pay to come and watch mm -hmm. you call the person bros i want you should just come and support us you understand so yes. they weren't really seeing it like it's business oh right and i learned something then i said telling them okay if you want me to play a free show for you good mm -hmm. but just make sure the hall will be given to you free the poster they will print it free, free. then i will come and do it free and don't charge people wow you do it for them free free charity if you're show. doing business you know i don't know you know you just need to just be free-minded about it and mm -hmm. allow other people to tap into that the so will in the land no we're yes. all businessmen you still have to survive one way as long as you're just... not doing the wrong thing is encouraged sure. you know um i i think like um that's the thing i believe mm -hmm. i want number one thing i feel the way people see music they don't see it like a serious thing like but a lot of guys who prefer to use their money go shark than to buy your cd oh wow okay. and the same cd contains songs that makes you happy while you're drinking okay now you just dropped a, a, a club banger um i was going to say a show club banger <laughs> well, that might be too strict but yeah you just dropped a show club banger named Odi okay, Odi nice, Odi fine, Odi oh I can go. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even why I tried to. Now you you featured Fino. Yes. Why Fino? And what is the inspiration behind? Fino this has been there. Like um, I think it's only the first album okay. that Fino did not produce any song on. Yeah, all okay. my albums. Production credit goes to Fino. In Fino produces it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You know, so he's always been there, and mm -hmm. a lot of people have been expecting us to have bros. When you want to drop something with your boy with Fino, Fino yeah. and you know, mm -hmm. it got to a point. I was like, okay, bros, let's do get something. This done, mm -hmm. you know, and we just said, and we've done songs well. Take care for collaboration. Like even, yeah. yeah, videos, but since he became the main thing people are like ah bros like and at some point to some yeah. people they might start feeling like are you people not in good terms so you don't want to do something, do something with your boy yeah okay, so okay so we talked about it and we recorded we recorded a song last year late last year oh wow yeah you just it yeah i just had to mix master and mm -hmm, drop the mm -hmm, song mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when should we be expecting a video um the video i'm hoping to start first week of october has it been shot already first week no to okay. start shooting, I don't start know how shoot. many days. Yeah, so I will shoot um, the first week of October. Okay. Depending on how many days it's going to take us to shoot. Well, uh, what kind of video is that that needs how many days to shoot? No, sometimes it's like, depends on locations okay. and the concept. What location are you looking at? Are you traveling to Bode Yubo? Hopefully, I want to shoot it in SA. Why essay? Now, I need to ask this question. Why don't a lot of people say, okay, you know what? I'm an artist. I'm successful. You know what? Nigerian is, Nigeria is still boring. Nigerian video vixens. Their faces are everywhere. I don't want them anymore. I want to travel abroad and look for a fresh bed, look for a fresh location, and shoot in South Africa and be like, yes, my well, video was shot um, in South Africa. It doesn't right. work that way. I think it's all about the concept and what you want. I might decide to shoot in my village. Okay. And you're asking me why my village? Why okay. not my village? Well, why do you take it abroad? That's the question. Sometimes why you, why? I say it depends on the concept. Okay. The concept I want, I might, I might want to like shoot something I feel like 
South Africa is the best place to. I can still shoot in the U.S. Why am I not going to the U.S.? What does all the OK have to do with South Africa? All the OK is. What does he have? Do you know what the terms? song is about? What is it about? Please school me. School. I want to be. You are not desirable. It's about the what? The what? The OK. So um, I, I, I made up my mind to shoot in essay because I feel like shooting the song in essay is a spiritual thing. Music is spiritual, yes. So you might write a song, you have in mind to do something, and at some point, if you don't do it that time, you want to do it in another way and in another place. I want to shoot in essay. I really feel like shooting the video in essay. It is spiritual. I, 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 I really want to shoot it in essay. Okay. Now, let's talk about... Um music should we be expecting any album soon yeah from mr well one very day? soon but probably next year next year this is already gone okay we don't ever enter the mm -hmm. months yeah exactly. mm -hmm. so <laughs> next thing uh, you know the season don't mm -hmm. set and mm -hmm. all that so i am mm -hmm. recording now and i work to work with a lot of artists in the industry who are you looking at to work with plenty the plenty do you want to mention a few names drop am a few i names supposed to drop their names i don't think i want to drop their names do it's trending I you drop think. names on trending trending is the only place okay. to drop names okay. i hope to have um, a song with flavor okay m i okay banky w okay or you should femi okay or lami day okay Ooh, that would be so oh yeah the, the, I, three, the two of them together? Even Pasuma. No, I'm just telling you, like, Pas artists I want, I just want to, like, them. I'm Ooh, just reach out to them. With, yeah. Amazing. Pato Rankin, too. Ooh, so, yeah. Yeah. I like Pato Rankin, Sam. So, yes. I just want to just basically, like, groove and. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Amazing. It's so good to know, Nika, for one day. All right, guys, let's go on a short break, but I'll show you the video of the day. And when I come back, there'll be more fun, more entertainment. Stay with me, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching Trending, brought to you by Airtel, and I have Mr. Wo Wanle with me here in the studio. One day, okay. that's how we do one day. Yeah, you know how we roll. That's how we <laughs> roll. One day. Right now, we move to the fast five questions where our guest, Mr. Wo, is given 60 seconds that's one minute to answer as much questions as he can. Okay. You ready? I think I am. All right, then. Your time starts now. Corporate or casual look? Casual. Traditional or intercontinental dishes? Traditional. Favorite celebrity? J. Cole. By road or by air? By air. Driving yourself or chauffeur? Driving myself. One day you wish would repeat itself is? I don't know. <laughs> Last thing you bought online? A wristwatch. One thing you can't go a day without? Water. Favorite football club? A number football club. What? <laughs> Favorite sport? You're taking my time. Oh my god, sorry. Favorite sport? That's football. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. What do you do for leisure? Brief boxers. Sorry. What I do know. you do for leisure? Um, I play football, play and shoot pool. <laughs> One person yeah. you can never forget? My mother. Oh. That my father married. <laughs> I don't understand. That the two of them. <laughs> I just went to tell them to be one sentence. To be, oh, okay, yes. okay. Well, that was good. You know, be like, sad, the beef. We won't. Exactly. Yeah, so we are together. together. Person, but That's your father. Man. Oh, of course, yes. Of course. Yeah, but in Yimba Club. It's 60 seconds. No? Eh, 60 seconds has ended. You did well. Okay, okay. I want to answer more. Ah. I didn't bad, man. No, no, we will be more. <laughs> more. Yeah, it's in Inba FC, man. Inba? Yeah. The only club side where the, the chairman said, Sabi me. You I don't am sabied by them. By them? Yes. Wow. Who would have thought? But another, the second club is Messi. He plays for Barcelona. In a one man squad. <laughs> I watch his game because of him. Him, wow. Yeah. So you're a fan of Messi? Yes. Okay. I, I, I get a lot of inspiration from him. How? He's a footballer. Yeah, I know what I'm look what I always look at whenever I watch him play. Yes. He doesn't fake falls. That thing I you don't understand? know how it happens. Yeah, he's always about scoring. Yes. So whatever people are trying to do to, to stop, do, yeah. he just make sure you go and he score, goes ahead. achieve it. Mm, amazing. So that's what I, I feel impressed about when anytime I'm watching, watching him. Watching He's just moving, he wants to score, he's mm. after a fizzy or anything, yeah. give him the ball, he looks for a way to yeah. 
convert it to a goal. Because why so I like I watching feel inspired, inspired watching that. Yes. Yeah. Because why I like watching football is when I see them touch somebody like this and the person somersaults to the Sometimes end of the Sometimes I'll, I'll be like, how? I'm, I'm like, like, I'm like, why is he somersaulting? They just did him like this. You and he's like, you carry like the car, you dip up money. I'll be like, how? <laughs> how? <laughs> so it's yeah. just the way I look you at look it. You look at it. Great. It's not even about about all of that. Amazing. That amazing. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll move on to the next level of the day, which is the tribe, where Nira gives us full meanings of some social media abbreviations and slangs that he possibly knows. Ha. Okay. You ready? L O L. Laugh out loud. Good. I D K. I don't know. L M K. Larry must know. <laughs> Larry must know. Larry must know. Larry must know. Larry must know. L M K I B. Or is it Lego? No, it's Linda. It actually means let me know. <laughs> I'm doing the creative business. So okay. mine is Lake Almost. Lake Almost. <laughs> okay, Lake if you're watching, I hope you know. You must know. You must know. NVM. NVM. I don't know. It means never mind. Never mind. Oh. Yes. Oh. SMH. That's a shaking my head. Good. HBD. Hi, what? HBD is very rampant. It's like HBD. a day that happens every year. BD. Yes. I heard P now. Happy no. birthday. T-T-Y-L. Mm, talk to you later. 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 Talk to you later. Hala. Hala. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say bad for. T-Y-T. T-Y-T. Thank you too. <laughs> Even if I'm not getting it, I did try. Now. Yeah, I think, that's why I'm impressed. That's why I have to... I have to <laughs> Because you are trying, you're not just leaving it like I that. I use that to tell someone thank you too, and that's it. You're right. Yeah. You're, in fact, you know what? I think that's what we should we'll put it as. We need okay. to change it. Uh -huh. Yes, it's now it's thank you too. Yeah. TYT means thank you too, henceforth. But it actually means take your time just in case. Okay. Yeah, so, in case somebody uses it, I just it's not thank you, too. thank you too. Thank you. It still makes sense. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll go on a short break. And when we get back, it'll be time for Nigga Raw to read some nasty comments. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. This is a nasty comment segment of the show where we get to see the nasty things that some people have to say about our guest, Mr. Raw, on social media. It is time for the nasty comments to roll in. <laughs> Were you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to read each and respond to them individually. React. We got just three though. A real Nigerian said, whatever happened to Negoro, he looks so needy and famished. Maybe, maybe I need something. <laughs> there are two other ones. Let's see if they're nastier. Okay, baby, one, two, two said, what happened to this guy? He seems to have disappeared. Did his juju run out? Yeah. I'm a Christian. I don't do juju. So... I can't answer the juju part of it. Exactly. So as a Christian, it didn't run out. My log didn't run out. Exactly. God does not run out. Yeah. Then Tommy was said, it is so sad that we we no longer get hits from Mr. Raw. He used to be a good rapper, but I get he I guess he just didn't have what it takes to be part of the industry. But at least I had what it takes to be part of it before. Maybe you don't have what it takes to still be there for me. Aww. Beautiful. That's all. True. Well, thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming on the show. It's so good to see you. Thank and you it's very so good much. to have you on the show. And yeah. you're such a blast to have on the show. Thank you very much. I had thank fun. You. I'm glad you did. I had fun. Are you for sure? Real. Yes, yes, I did. For real? I had fun. Halla. 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 Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy the top five. Hi 
guys, that's all we can take on the show today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. You know I love you, right? Well, make sure to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Trending on Hip TV. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nancy Isime Official. And you can also watch us online at www.hiptv.tv. Until I see you next time, stay blessed. God bless you. I love you. Take care. Bye.